everybody and their grandma wants to become productive they want to become productive machines they want to get everything done they want to you know get to the end of the day and just check off all the things in the to-do list so that they could feel this sense of accomplishment like they did something throughout the day that they're getting closer to that goal that they have how do we become productive you know you could go online right now and go on how, be, how do i become productive and you'll find so many articles on how you can become productive i try to make the most out of my day i try to make sure that every single day i get the most out of my day and i actually took advantage of the day and so what that means is that i hope to be as productive as i can be every single day to get closer to that goal that i have one of the most beneficial ways that i found towards being productive is having categories of high impact and low impact activities and then doing the high impact activities more than the low impact activities throughout the day you know let's 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 switch it to youtube right because i'm pretty sure there's something that a lot of people can relate to and can understand a lot easier right so when it comes to youtube right let's say i have a goal of uploading consistently on youtube and let's say that i want to read right let's say that i want to read every single day as well i want to make sure that i read and i'm i'm consistent every single day What's going to be the high impact activity towards making that goal of uploading on YouTube consistently? It's going to be, you know, editing. It's going to be recording. It's going to be all those things. Recording and editing are primarily the two things that are high impact when it comes to, you know, uploading on YouTube, right, in this example. But when it comes to reading, reading wouldn't necessarily be a high impact activity towards that goal of uploading consistently on YouTube because if I read or not, that's not going to make any difference towards my goal that I have uh, uploading consistently on YouTube. And so in this case, in this example, reading would be a low impact activity and editing and recording. All those things will be high impact activities. In this case, if I wanted to be productive throughout the day, then I would mostly focus on editing and recording. And then I would leave the low impact activity towards that goal, which is reading. I would leave that towards like the end of the day. And I found this to be very useful in my days in becoming productive because I found that a lot of people and myself included before this, I found that we spend a lot of time doing things that are low impact towards our goals. And that's why we see the less results. And not only that, we don't become productive. We don't actually see any productivity in our day. And that's when we find ourselves being busy instead of actually being productive. If you've been watching this channel and I've told you guys many times before, I recommend you guys to plan your day the night before, right? I recommend you guys to plan your day every night to make sure that you have an organized day the next day so you're not all over the place. And this actually has been very beneficial to me in my life. Every night before you go to bed and you write down your to-do list of the things that you have to do tomorrow, I want you guys to look at all the things that you wrote down and look at and categorize each of them as high impact activities and low impact activities and then see which ones are high impact and low impact and then focus the majority of your time on high impact and then throughout the end of the day you, this is one of the things i recommend i'm giving i'm going to give you guys a tip and that example that i gave reading is one of the things that i do myself but just because it is low impact towards that goal that i have that doesn't mean that i don't read at all just because it's low impact doesn't mean that i'm going to throw it in the garbage i still read every single day like if you guys don't know like i read every single day and for at least 30 minutes, right? At least 30 minutes, I read every single day. But just because it's low impact, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to do it, right? Usually what I recommend is that if it's low impact, but it's still something you want to do, like for example, like like for example, right? In this example of, you know, uploading consistently on YouTube, it's a goal, right? Journaling or like meditating or like reading books or doing something else that has nothing to do with this would be considered low impact in this example. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to do those things if it helps my life overall right like reading helps my life what that means is that first in my day i'm going to focus on making sure that i do the high impact activities first like for example right now recording this video and editing right once i'm done with those high impact activities and i still got time throughout my day i'm going to focus on the low impact activities that still make you know some progress in my life overall like reading right so in my case like reading makes a big difference in my life and so just because it is low impact in this example of the goal on YouTube, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to read. I still read every single day, even though it's low impact to that goal that I have. You have to reevaluate your, first of all, your goals, and then you have to evaluate the things that you do throughout the day, and then categorize each of those things that you're going to do as high impact and low impact, and make sure that you do the high impact things first, and then at the end of the day, or any time of the day where you have enough time, like let's say you finish the high impact things in the first half of your day, then in the rest of the half of the day, you could go on to do the low impact activities. Like for example, like reading or whatever the case may be for you, right? Like for you, right? Anything that you do throughout the day, 
make sure that you do the hard things or basically the high impact things first and then you could do the low impact things you know throughout the end of the day when you have a lot more time and you really finish the most important things right this is how you will become more productive in your life now reading is not low impact for a lot of people like reading could be a goal for someone and so reading could be a high impact goal or a high impact activity for them like let's say someone has a goal of reading every single day consistently right that could be a goal that you have and so reading in that case wouldn't be low impact it would be high impact and watching tv being on your phone doing all these things that those things wouldn't be high impact they will be very low impact and one of those those things are actually things that you don't have to do so it's not like you have to watch tv or be on your phone all day so that can actually be something that you don't have to do in your day but reading since it's one of the things that actually makes progress in my life i even though it is low impact in that example that i gave i still read i still make sure that i read and 30 minutes is not much you know throughout the day like throughout the day you know i'm not gonna say we have 24 hours because because we obviously sleep so you know 16 hours throughout the day 30 minutes of it it's not much, you know, that's going to take out of my day. So I still make sure that I'm, you know, at least fit in 30 minutes of reading every single day because it does make a difference in my life. And so you also have to make sure that you're doing the things that actually make a difference, right? Because sometimes we find ourselves doing things that make no difference towards the goals that we have. Any goal that you have, you first have to realize what it is that you have as a goal, right? And then you have to look at the to-do list that you have to do every single day to make progress towards that goal. And then in that to-do list, you have to look at which of these things are high impact and which of these things are low impact and make sure that you do the high impact things first and put more energy on that and then towards the low impact which means you know it makes little you know to no impact towards your goals those low impact activities you do like at the end of the day like you know once you're done with the high impact activities this is how you will become a productive machine you got to think about it if you finish your day right and you get through throughout the end of the day and you look at your to-do list and you check off the low impact activities and you don't check off any of the high impact activities what is that going to mean that means that you did the things that make little to no difference in your goals it makes little to no progress in your goals and you want to make sure that every day you do the things that make the most progress in your goals just look back to the example that i gave right when it comes to youtube like what are the things that are high impact that's going to get me closer to that goal when it comes to youtube right it's going to be like editing recording things like that right it will not be laying down watching tv like that's low impact that's nothing that's not going to make any progress towards my goal so you have to evaluate the things that you're going to do the next day and just categorize them from high impact and low impact and make sure that you get the high impact first done and then once you're done with the high impact stuff, then go on to doing the low impact stuff that you, you know, that make, you know, not much of a big, huge, you know, difference. It doesn't make a big impact on your goals. It still, it, it maybe does a little bit of impact. Maybe it makes a bit, a little bit of impact, but you know, it doesn't make a huge impact like the high impact activities that you did already. This is how you will finish your day, look back at all the things that you had in your to-do list. And this is how you're going to feel accomplished. You're going to feel like you actually did something throughout the day. Why? Because you did the things that make the most impact towards your goals. That's really what matters. It's doing the things that actually matter, right? Because you will probably find yourself doing things that actually do not matter. That when it comes to your goals, right? You probably are doing things that make no difference, that do little to no difference. And so that's why you probably feel unaccomplished or like you feel like this unsatisfied feeling at the end of the day because you're doing things that are low impact. Focus more on being productive and not being busy. You could look at someone and, and you could be like, damn, they look busy. They look like they're doing a lot of things. But are they actually doing anything? Like, are they actually doing something that's making significant progress in their goals? They're probably not. And so focus more on being productive and focus less on being busy. And that's how you're going to make progress in your life and become productive, a productive machine, and actually see the progress that you want in your life. But anyways, that's all I got to say. I'm out.